Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. Oh, glorious day. This is the time of year in New Zealand. The mornings are wonderful. Unfortunately, the rest of the day can be somewhat variable, as you will find out later on in this episode. We have taken delivery of a, one of those chaise sofas, which will make for very pleasant evenings watching interesting things on the box together, like, say, Geeko Farm. However, the guy who delivered this left a nice trolley for us as well, which is way better than mine. I suppose really we'd better tell him about it. On sunny days like today, life continues in the garden. Just put another compost heap up there. Uh, clearing out these beds, putting it in, and there's all the lovely new compost. Uh, we have some garlic growing there. Now seeing the light after I've pulled out the last of the uh, fractal cauliflower. Uh, chickens are enjoying... Where are we? Chickens are enjoying all the leftover bits. Yes, beetroot. Beetroot is the crop of the season. Got some really good substantial ones down there. Making lots of beetroot salads, roasting them up on the barbecue. Well, enough mucking around in the garden. I'm feeling a bit peckish and also curious as to find out what we have in our ancient store of zombie food. And we're inside just in time because it's persistently pouring down out there. Anyway, in the box we have a packet of Eater salted peanuts dated okay, goggles, old person. Here we are. Uh, the 4th of July 2012, which makes them ancient. So I may have to revise the date in which I packed this. So like seven years ago perhaps. Anyway, peanuts are one of those things which uh, can grow nasty moulds that can kill you. And these... Don't seem to have killed me yet. They don't look terrific. I think I'm going to give them to the chicken. No, perhaps we don't want to do that to the chicken. So they're not really very good. Um, Anyway, let's try something else. Hang on a sec. Well, this should take the nasty taste away. Probably strip everything out of my mouth. Mmm, yes. Uh, rocket fuel, otherwise known of as stro rum. Um, this is an Austrian rum, 80% by volume, about 160% proof, and it's never seen molasses in its life because. Austria is a landlocked country, and um, so they had to develop their own way of making rum, which didn't use molasses. And it's called Inlander Rum. Um, it is available in a 60% version if you want to take it on a plane. And yeah, well, it's extremely strong. You're not meant to drink it neat. It says on the label you're not meant to drink it neat, but it says that in German, so great fun can be had by unscrupulous people. Anyway, that can go back in the box for another six or seven years. But for now, that's your lot, down on Geeko Farm. <laughs>